is popping beautiful people up in YouTube land? Yo, pssst. it finally arrived, man. This probably was my most anticipated sneaker of the year. And it may be a little bit off of a lot of people's rails, cause it's not really that popping over here, I would say. And I mean, it's mostly, I, I'd say it's more popping like around overseas, or like if they do like, or if they do like crazy collabs like with Vetmos. But if you're looking at the title, you know we're talking about the, it's the pump prototypes. They're better known as the Citrons. Talking about these guys right here. It's the Pomfiri prototypes. But these are not the ones, these are the ones from 2014. You've seen the previous, like an old video of mine when I got these. I had um, cleaned them and got them fresh or whatever. But they had re released them last week. This year marks the 25th anniversary, and last week they released them in limited quality. They only made 19,094 pairs because as you all know they, they released in 1994 it's crazy i'm really two years older than a shoe like that's how you know you're getting older when you older than a shoe that that's a quarter century old <laughs> let me stop rambling and me get into it so i just got in the mail this box dumb height Ah, this is my favorite logo of Reebok of all time. That new logo is trash. That dynasty, bro, what they thought they were, the rock. Throwback box and all that. Boom. That was 11. Black, hyper green, Reebok red. It's the Punk Fairy Proto 94. Yes, look and behold. Don't need this box anymore. Look and behold. It's the Pump Fairy prototypes, man. AKA, the It's the Pump Fairy Citrons. Now, those of you who don't know, the name of these really is the It's the Pump Fairy Citrons. But what makes these different is this is supposed to be the the initial design of them. And I'm about to get into the detail, like what's the difference with this sneaker than the one I have. And also with this one, since they made only limited quality, they, they numbered them. So this one, let's see what number I got. I got number two out of 1994. What? That's crazy. Number two has lit. Look at these up close. Quality on these is fire. Like, they almost similar as the other ones. Almost similar to, to the ones from the 2014s. I swear it is red. Then you got that highlight of yellow on the toe box. And on the mesh part, you got the black. Then on the, this would be called the bladder. This whole part right here that you pump up. It's that, that highlighted yellow again. This is what really makes that shoe pop. Like, ever since I was a kid, looking at this colorway made me like fall in love with it. Um, yeah, so on the sides. They got that hole, that hole missing on the sides. Then on the hill, this is where the Hexalite is. Hexalite is basically Reebok's version of Nike's Air Max technology. Go to the back, the Reebok sign. This is a mixture of the, the highlight yellow, citrus, if you wanna say, citrus color with the, the red. Then the insoles is yellow. Let's say, Reebok Rack Advanced Concepts. That was the group that 
that they had doing that at the white midsole. The sole itself, so make sure both. You got the hexalite as always, the carbon fiber under as always. These joints came already pumped up. Sometimes they didn't, when they come, they don't usually not pumped up. But let's go into comparison. So as you can see, on the left side, I got the new ones that just released. And on the right side, these are the 2014s. So off rip, if me not even saying anything, you sure already see the difference. So with these, with the prototypes, they don't have the, the first giveaway is the the pull tabs. They got they don't have the pull tabs on the on the prototypes. Which is kinda weird. Looking at them, they look mad weird without the pull tabs. Um second difference is the pump. If you look at the pump, this one says the pump on it. <laughs> I'll run it. And then this one has it's the pump on it. Um even the color, I mean, being that this one has a little bit worn and whatever, and like washed or whatever, so this one is a little bit, a little bit washed out. Like this, this color is a little bit more vibrant on the newer pair than, than this color, but not by that much. And I think that's just through time, me of the uh, when I the other person wearing these, and then when I bought them, me wearing them. So I got a few wears out of these already. Go to the back. Basically identical. They look almost like they, there's nothing really changing there. <clears throat> you go inside, this is where you see the difference. You got the, the logo that we always see for the Insta Pump in the old pair. And then in the new pair, you see this rack, the rack design to give homage of the of that design group that originally made the shoe. At first and foremost, I'm gonna give a shout out to Steven Smith, man. Those of you that haven't watched my, my first videos, without him, it wouldn't be none of these Yeezys or anything, bro, because he was the one that created these. He helped create these guys. And if it wasn't for him, bro, we wouldn't have. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have these guys, bro. So like, you, you see how he's like really much resonate to this day, like, of making fire shoes, bro. Fun fact about this colorway too, because I was watching an interview of Steven Smith talking about the Instapump phrase when they first made it. When he made this design, he came with this original color. He brought it to his boss and was like, yo, this is this nigga. The dude was like, yeah, I like it. But this color is too crazy. Like th this is an amazing shoe, but the colorway, I don't think people gonna like it. So he told him like, yeah, you should maybe make it like a all black, like an all gray colorway for the first color. And then he was tight. He went home, dumb tight. Then spray painted the whole thing black. And then he came back and the dude was like, oh, this is perfect. We could, we could sell it now. And then he was like, bro, you're not getting it. And then that right there resonated. And then he went right, they went right back with this color, which I'm happy they did because bro, like this color, bro, like this is unique, especially in the 90s. Like this yells out 90s, and legit. He's one of my favorite sneaker designers of all time. People might be like, oh, you just saying that because oh, all this stuff is hot, but nah, bro. If you if you see my old videos, I have. An old video showing, I have a two part series of me showing my old Mr. Pump Fury collection. You see in the back, this is, most, this is like like 20 plus pairs of Mr. Pump Furies. I really do this, really. I really love Mr. Pump, bro. That's why when these came out, bro, it was anticipated for me. So, again, thank you, Stephen Smith. I know you're not watching this, but if you, if you get a chance to see this, bro, bro, you're much appreciated over here. For real, for real. <laughs> I wish I could go under you and you could be my sensei. I learned everything from you, like, cause bro, you make beautiful pieces of work, bro. Like this, this is art. Like this is really the the, the godfather of all like the popping stuff that's popping right now. These, I think I'm gonna just put these in the, 
put these in like a shrine or something. Like I don't, I don't even think I'm gonna um, wear these guys. Like maybe like in the future, but like for now, like these going into like like a special type of a display in my room because like I said, this is history right here, bro. This is a collector's item. This is very limited. Like you didn't make that many sizes. If you did miss out on these, they're also supposed to drop 2019 version of the the Citrons. Basically, basically this one. They about to release this again, the same one, that, like in how this one is, or whatever. I think in April, first or second week of April. So if you got mad that you missed out on these, they're re-releasing they re in these. So everybody gonna be able to get a pair. And I think everybody should get a pair. Like, this is history. Like, this is the OG colorway, so you can't go wrong with the OG colorway. Now I'm looking at kind of like Pikachu. <laughs> But that was the video, man. Like, comment, subscribe if you like what you see. I think I'm probably like the only person from the States that's doing a review on these guys. Because like I said, these are under a lot of people's radar. Like, I mean, wrong, there's a lot of people in the States that like Insta Pump Furies, but it's very few. There's more, a lot of people in Asia. It's a big following in Asia that, that really like Insta Pumps. And you can see, if you look at the reviews on YouTube, they're mostly coming from Asia where people are doing reviews on this. Also too, Steven Smith, if you watching this man, because he actually responds to to people or whatever. I'm about to troll his 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 Instagram because I'm like, bro, if you see this, since you can bring him back the colorways, I think you might be bringing this back, but if you're not bringing it back, I'm letting you know we need it back. Bring back the Jackie Chan's, bro. Woo! Yo. You bring back the Jackie Chan's, I need two pairs of those. Also, let me know in the comments below if you even like Insta Pumps, you think they ugly, you think they needed to come back, or you need to stay in the vault. Let me know. But I'm out. Peace.